are too comfortable, there is a problem. <laughs> because people have been in the kingdom, they say these, uh, uh, those problems are gone. <laughs> Do you know people are anointed, they pray for more problems. <laughs> because the more problems, they are going to test uh, how anointed you are. <laughs> I wish I can talk to you. <laughs> Praise the name of God. <laughs> when you want to measure the level of your Christianity, <laughs> when you want to measure the amount of your prayer, <laughs> when you want to measure how anointed you are, my pastor, <laughs> you need to pray for more problems. <laughs> because the more problems you can handle, <laughs> the more anointed you are. <laughs> I wish <laughs> someone gets this. <laughs> Praise the name of God. <laughs> so now Paul is laid in the sheep. And this sheep is taking Paul to Rome not for any other business but to be tried for an offense that he has not committed. Someone say an offense that he has not committed. Praise the name of God. Have you ever someone had someone pray the prayer like this? God, I don't know what I did wrong. Why are they now doing this to me? For God's sake, there is nothing wrong you did. Ah, but when you woke up every morning, you have something to deal with. And now they are in the sea. And there are storms. Someone say storms. And now they are dodging here and here so that they can survive the storms in the sea. Let me tell you, child of God, even before I take you deeper, when you see people whom God has is dodging from issues, never ever raise your finger against them. Praise the name of God. When you see people going through something and your life is better, never open your mouth to speak because God is the one who is sustaining you. Praise the name of God. And Paul now, he is going to speak to them. He says unto them, uh, it's like we are not going to make up uh, in this journey. But nobody is going to listen to him. Uh, can I talk to you for a minute? Uh, I'm talking about the people are anointed uh, but not yet appointed. Uh, the people have the spirit of God uh, but you don't have the influence. Uh, you have the spirit of discernment uh, but only because you are not here, nobody is going to take you serious. Uh, let, let me put it this way so that you can get it. Uh, I'm talking about this prayerful sister who is always at the church and uh, she ain't even driving. She doesn't have uh, that much money. No influence at all. And here there is another sister who is so blessed. Every time this sister comes to church, she comes to church driving. And this other sister spends in the church praying. And this other sister has a word from the Lord. And this other sister will come to the sister who is driving. And she will say, when I was in prayer, the Holy Spirit ministered to me. The sister who is driving is going to ignore the sister who always spends time in prayer. Because sometimes what you don't have will make people to treat you as Eve. What you are saying does not make any sense. Ah, can I talk to you right now? Because sometimes people need people of the influence to say something. They need people have it all to speak something in their lives. They need people are not struggling at all to speak something in their lives. But let me encourage you. It's true you don't have what they have. But you still have your conduct with God. And that's why God can still speak to you in that horrible situation in that trouble you can still listen to the voice of God so being the fact that Paul now is a prisoner did not stop God ministering through Paul he still have the revelation of the spirit there's still the download and the discernment the Holy Spirit is still working through Paul and when he climbed the ship the Holy Spirit ministered to him and he went to the centurion servant he said, we don't think we are going to make it, but they are going to ignore Paul, because Paul, you are just
just a prison. You are not even Simon Peter. You are not even Peter. You have no experience at all about the sheep. I may not be having the experience about the sheep, but I have the conduct with God the Father. And if I have God the Father on my side, I still have the spirit and the power of the discernment. Can I talk to you right now? Praise the name of God. Uh, it takes time to be appointed. I say you can be anointed and ignored. You can be anointed and despised. You people, you are not talking to me. And that's why everything you say to them, they don't really take it serious because number one, you have no money. You have no education. You have not the degree. You have no big conduct. So whether you are speaking from the arena of God, nobody is going to listen to you because your influence is limited. I feel it now. Praise the name of God. Tell your neighbor, I'm anointed but ignored. Praise the name of God. Say, I'm anointed but despised. That's why anything you say, they don't take it. Any direction you give, nobody listens to you. Any word you say, nobody is going to take it serious. But walk with me. I want to show you what is going to happen. The fact being that you have a revelation does not mean that people are going to respect you. Does not mean that people are going to take it. But can I tell you this? The great leadership is founded through ignorance. The more people ignore you, the more powerful you become as a leader. Ah, praise the name of God. Because very soon, I'm now prophesying, the same people who keep on ignoring you, the same people who keep on despising you, not wanting to take anything from you because of what they feel you don't have. I see them coming back to you and asking you, what were you talking about? I feel I need your advice now. I feel I need your prayer now. Are you people you didn't come for the service. I say the same people who ignore you. So in that ignorance, you need to say thank you Jesus, thank you Jesus. Because your leadership is being impacted. Your leadership is being powered. And very soon from the very thing that was ignored, God is getting ready to bring out something that will be sought after. Praise the name of God. Because Paul now, he knew that the sheep is not going to make it. But he is talking to the centurion soldier. But the centurion soldier is going to look at Paul as if Paul is not even a human being. Ah, you are just a prisoner. What are you talking about, Mr. Man? Ah, praise the name of God. You know, I'm a university graduate. Uh, you don't have even a certificate. What are you talking about? Let me tell you this. Degrees and the certificates don't define the things of God. The things of God are defined by the power of the Holy Spirit. Praise the name of God. Can I talk to you, child? I say the things of God. Did you read in the Bible? Even the donkey can speak. Ah, when 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 the donkey is hit by the Holy Spirit, the donkey ain't going to move. Praise the name of God. And people who think are too anointed, they are about to miss on the move of God because they expect somebody who is too big to come and speak unto them. I see the anointed children of God in this place. People have ignored you. People have misused you. Only because you don't put on the shoe they put on. But if you know the Holy Spirit is in your heart. The Holy Spirit is all over your body. You need to be excited. In the name of Jesus. Praise the name of God. And now the hurricane comes and hit the ship. Someone say the hurricane say the hurricane when they are in the sea and they could not 
dodge it anymore. God is going to allow the hurricane to come. Praise the name of God. I, I know there are things you have been wondering. How comes God is taking too long? How comes God, even after I fasted for 21 days, even after I slept in the church, even after I served you in the church, you still couldn't show up. Praise the name of God. I see God sending a hurricane because the hurricane is about to align some stubborn fellas in your life. Praise the name of God. You see, when the hurricane comes, even the centurion soldier, they are going to run for their lives. Even people are too big, they are going to be shaken. Are you still in this place? Praise the name of God. So when you see me messed up, don't talk about me. When you see me so low, don't talk about me. I'm just in the hurricane and given a little time I'm going to come out. I lost my child. I lost my job. I lost my business. I lost my relationship. I lost my gift because I went through the hurricane. Praise the name of God. I've been struggling with money. I've been struggling with the divorce thing in my life. I've been struggling with the family raising against me. Someone say the hurricane. <laughs> say the hurricane. I'm talking about the thing that interrupted your intimacy. People think you are a mad woman, but the truth is you are not a mad woman. You just went through the hurricane. But I want to give God the praise in this place because you can go through the hurricane. Lose your house. Lose your money. Lose your friends. Lose everybody around you. But if you still have your praise, for the Bible says, let everything that has got the breath praise the Lord. So if I still have my breath and I can praise God, I can still have what I lost in the hurricane.